Hey everyone, it's Nick with Us vs. Herd. Today, I'm up a little bit today, mostly due to SNDL. Weed stocks really ran. Alibaba, for me, still causing me some pain, down 26% on, on those call options. I'm in the um, the 270 March calls, so you know it's only down 26%, so we'll see if we can push that up. I mean, it came up a little bit, a little bit, made $37 back on that today. CLOV, you know, my biggest loser today. I'm in some naked puts here. Um, pretty high delta exposure right now so i'm going to try to probably roll that into march um probably should have done it at open but clov clov just you know tanked right at the open so i didn't get a chance to we'll see if it kind of bounces here likes to bounce right around here like 12 12 50 see if we can get a push back up to 13 and either close it out because like 13 basically break even or um, try to roll into March expiration. Um, and then Uber, I'm in Uber right now for earnings. Uber, I did sell some premium, which is they're in the money right now. I sold the 65 put, bought the 64 put. You know, right now, Uber is having a little bit of difficulty after hours but really hasn't moved all that much so we'll kind of see kind of kind of see what happens and then i also sold today i sold premium in mgm we're going to talk about the weed stocks in a second i sold premium in mgm i bought or i sorry sorry i shorted the 32 strike puts um so those are probably looking good tomorrow as long as you know mgm doesn't tank too hard if it stays here it goes up a little bit making a little bit of money but what you've been waiting for sndl so sndl i have i mean not a lot just kind of chill uh i did buy 500 shares my average is a dollar 27 and as you can see here things are just off the chain so if you made money today comment below got paid if you lost money today comment below learn a lesson do me a big favor hit the like button and if you want to join the uvh fam our community links are below in the description to our discord and our options trading group on facebook both are free and if you want to learn how to trade options uh, sign up for the uvh academy link is below in the description too so sndl let's talk about the weed stocks okay so before we get into the chart and all that which I want to point out right now, you know, CNBC is now saying Reddit Wall Street bets has something to do with the surge in weed stocks. Tilray was up 45% today. They're saying Reddit crowd that spike gain stop jumps in. The group of cannabis companies are garnering attention from the same Wall Street bets arm Reddit army that contributed to the epic short squeeze in the GameStop last month. But I mean, penny stocks and all these type of stocks have been running. I mean, cannabis, unlike GameStop, has been running off of the Biden administration and news that they're going to legalize weed on a federal level. So part of the discussion on Reddit has centered around pending merger between Tilray and Afria. The cannabis companies have also gotten a boost from the Democratic Party's intentions to legalize the plant at the federal level. Like I I just said so as you can see here i mean the, i mean this makes for a good a good click but i mean sndl is a weed stock not even in here but cgc tilray acb um let me see so you can see this here a apha cron so all these have been running running hot i mean tilray was up another 50 percent today cron up 14 percent cgc is up six percent acb up 20 percent and you know sundial sndl which I'm currently in, up another 78% today. And then after hours, I mean, it hit 368 just now. We did have a little bit of turbulence in the market today. I mean, SNDL came down sub two and then did nothing but rip. And now after hours, these stocks are ripping. Tilray, Tilray up, I mean, closed at 63.91, is now 71. I mean, this stock went from 23.80 to now $77 like, from high to low right now in the last few days. I mean, this is, this is crazy, crazy, crazy. MJ... Weed ETF. I mean, right now, what I'm looking for is, you know, I was looking for a little bit of pullback, but now I think, I think that is, I think that's not going to happen for quite some time. I mean, right now, best you can do, sell some naked puts, relax, buy some shares if you want. Obviously, this is not investment advice for entertainment purposes only. But right now, if you're looking to get in on the weed stock squeeze, you know, you you got you got to play it safe. I mean, right now premium is going through the roof. I mean, imply uh, imply volatility on MJ is 164 percent, which for this is high, very high. Uh, CGC imply volatility right now 150 percent, 120 percent, which is which is not that high. You know, CGC. I mean, it's ripping, but not as much as the other one uh, other guys. I mean, this came only up six percent today. But if we look at um, SNDL. 
sorry, SNDL. I mean, look at the premium in here, the premium in here, 300, 400 uh, percent, which is very AMC GME like when we saw, we saw GME tap out a thousand percent AMC, a thousand percent IV. So this makes for some very interesting times. Now, are these options going to get there? I mean, it seems like they're warming up to that direction. As you can see here, IV and pi volatility, especially on SNDL, you know, it spiked right up here. I mean, obviously the, st the stock is, is just going parabolic. Now, if you're looking at SNDL, look at the five-year chart. I mean, it could, it could, I mean, right now it is at, let's say three bucks. You know, there is some resistance at like 380, 394, but what, if it clears four, I mean, five is the next area of resistance. And then after five, really there's no resistance until like nine. Now, I don't, I mean, I don't know if there's any bag holders that bag held from 13 down to 14 cents. I don't know, but if there are, you know, I hope it, hope it comes back your way or you average down big. I mean, even if you were bag holding from eight down here, I mean, averaging down to two or three, probably not a bad idea. You know what I mean? Not, not obviously not giving investment advice here, but just kind of saying, I mean, if this were me, if I, if I was holding for multiple years, at my average is eight or nine, I would definitely average down. So once you see it spike back up, but it looks, it's looking, it's looking interesting here. I mean, volume, it traded in the billions today. I mean, this is, this is just, this is just crazy. I mean, if we look, if we look at the options flow here, let's look at the gainers today. Um, gainers, if you can see this, SNDL, they had 40 million in premium, you know? So, I mean, that's that's pretty big. I mean, if you consider, you know, SNDL had 40 million in premium, Amazon had 51, Tesla had 163, Nvidia had 52. But if you can stack, if you're stacking SNDL up against Baidu, Netflix, Apple, Amazon, I mean, that's big, 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 big money entering this space. So, you know, my plan for SNDL really, when I bought these shares, was to basically hold and sell some cover, cover calls against them like in a month or two, but I didn't think it was gonna get like this parabolic this fast. I mean, this thing is just is just moving up. Now, if we look at Tilray, Tilray, I mean, right now, resistance at 78, 80, you know, we'll call it, we'll call it 80. Resistance at 80, but right now it's just slicing through shorts like nothing. So if this can come up to here, break 80 to 90 level, I mean, this has a very, very, very good chance of hitting hitting 100 relatively soon. So, you know, that's what I'm looking for right now. Um, is we going to get a little bit of a pullback? I don't know. That's the thing. That's what everybody's asking. It's like, hey, is it going to pull back? We don't know. We don't know if it's going to pull back. Honestly, for the stock to triple in three days, I mean, that is a feat in itself, you know, to go from 20 bucks to 70 bucks. I mean, it's big, it's big. So we'll see. I mean, once it starts hitting the airstream, we saw what happened with GameStop, you know, GameStop, which, you know, was a different scenario. Let's zoom, let's actually zoom in here. GameStop, I mean, it started, it started to take off, but it, it, it it went, it went a week. It went a week. I mean, now it's, it's, it's still chilling at 51, which, I mean, granted, this is GameStop. This is way better off than what they were at, you know, a couple months ago when they were way down here, down in nine or eight. You know, to be a, a single digit stock to go up to $50 and stabilize, is it going to stabilize here at the 50 day moving average on GameStop? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Uh, AMC also today, let me, uh, let me make the chart a little bit better. <laughs> AMC came up five percent today as well but you know still i'm i'm for gamestop amc i'm kind of waiting to see i would like to sell some premiums in there um you know if i sell if i if i short some puts that means i'm long the stock i'm not short the stock so for the people that hate in the comments saying hey, why are you shorting don't short if you're short puts you're long the stock and if you don't know what that means go to the us first hurt academy learn what that means okay so that this is, you know, AMC, I'm looking for it. You know, it's, it's holding here. I'm, I want to see if it comes back down to four, 450. If it doesn't, I might, uh, I might try to do something here. I mean, premium is still rich. If we go into, if we go into, uh, March, you know, the five strikes are, are paying out a dollar right now. So it might be, I might be looking at that. And if I get assigned a hundred shares at the five strike, 
that's not that's not a bad deal. And my, my cost average would be four anyways, and I could sell premiums against that or just hold the stock if I want. So I think there's there's a lot of options. I think AMC definitely more attractive to me than GameStop. GameStop, I mean, I don't know, you know, in terms of their business, you may like the stock, but in terms of their business, I don't really know what they're planning on doing through all this. I don't even know if they even raised any cash. You know, AMC raised cash to this. Other other companies that were getting short squeezed raised cash to this. GameStop, I don't believe they did. If they did, correct me in the comments, let me know. But, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. So right now I'm, I'm actively into trading the weed stocks. I mean, these things are just just go into infinity so we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens guys uh let me know what you think if there's any stocks weed stocks that you like mention in the comments if you watch the video to the end comment watch to the end and as always stay safe stay green it's us versus herd